Hey guys, what's going on? James from I Run Tech here. And it's here to bring you a kind of like a quick tip, a uh, computer tip. I think it's actually kind of cool if uh, for anybody who has a tablet or has um, multiple devices that they log into, like I have a desktop, I have my um, Apple um, iMac, or um, I'm sorry, my MacBook Pro, my iMac at work, uh, my other desktop, my other laptop. So I have multiple devices, right? Um, if you ever heard of the term of a roaming profile, where uh, you have your profile that you logged into, say my, my Windows uh, desktop, I have my uh, desktop and my documents, and um, that profile is going to be roaming, which means it kind of lives in the cloud more or less, or lives on a central server that uh, then gets duplicated and pushed down to like other devices. Uh, so with Nowadays, with things going over to the cloud, um, you have your uh, One uh, OneDrive, you have your Google Drive, you have your Dropbox, um, or those, uh, or all of those are uh, going syncing up to the cloud. Uh, pretty much with Dropbox, it's the easiest. You can uh, well the easiest to kind of describe because it's mostly well known. Same with Google Drive. Um, you install the sync tool on your computer, and then you basically copy files to the Dropbox folder. It then syncs up to the cloud. And then whatever you have that client installed on, it then syncs back down to that client. So then now you have uh, copies of the same folder in multiple locations. Um, what I'm going to do is take it a step further to kind of do it automatically. So this is going to be strictly for uh, Windows users. Um, Mac, there is a way of doing it too, but for right now, I'm only going to explain Windows. And I'm going to be using uh, OneDrive for Business. Uh, OneDrive for Business gives you a terabyte. I'm actually using it with my company. And um, I am going to show you how to make your Windows profile seamlessly sync to OneDrive for Business across multiple laptops. Uh, multiple laptops, desktops, whatever you log into Windows with, it'll sync up to that if you follow these steps and set it up correctly. So allow me to take you through it. Okay, so here we are on our first computer. Um, so as you can see, uh, this is the computer I'm gonna have sync up to OneDrive for business. So I have a couple of files on my desktop here, I have a couple of icons and logos. And what I wanna show you is uh, right here. This is my OneDrive for business folder. As you can see, I already made a desktop, documents, favorites. I created these folders. Um, so this is what I'm gonna copy my information over to. And to get to that, it's under the C drive. And I'm going to copy basically, say as you see my desktop is empty here. And what I'm going to do is copy all these files. Or actually I'm going to move my physical location of my Windows desktop over to OneDrive for Business. Now to do that, it's actually quite simple. So if you go into your profile, which is uh, under C Drive Users, mine is Jay Gamble. And if you actually go into the desktop folder, as you can see, I have um, these icons here. So I'm going to do, you're going to right click on this and you're going to go to Properties. And you're gonna notice when that pops up, you're gonna see a uh, tab called Location. Now this is where Windows, or this is where it tells Windows to save your desktop icons. So what we're gonna simply gonna do, we're gonna move this folder to my OneDrive for Business folder, Desktop, and select. And now as you can see, it's one. It now it changed from uh, lo locally to the OneDrive for Business desktop. And this is asking if I want to move this from the old location to new locations. Um, it says uh, if I do this while it's open, it might script up the programs. I have nothing open, so I have nothing to worry about. So I'm going to hit yes. And now what that did is it moved all my icons that I had in my desktop folders. You can see it's empty. Now if I go over to OneDrive for Business, I now have all my icons here. And as you can see, you got three little check marks right now because it's checking into OneDrive. OneDrive is syncing in, it's giving me that check mark, uh, check box, and I'm a thumbs up. Um, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do this with the rest of the documents here. Documents, um, I have a couple of their icons in there. What's kind of cool about this when doing it this way, even though I already have um, documents in here, is that when I move this over, instead of it like, it merges them both together, so I'm not gonna lose anything. So the same thing, I'm gonna merge my documents folder with my documents for OneDrive for Business. Select the folder, which is this one. So you can see OneDrive for Business documents. And I'm gonna apply this and hit yes. As saying basically I have other folders in there. I will not be able to separate them once I do this over. So it's gonna merge them all together. Um, and I'm okay and fine with that. So I'm gonna hit yes to that. And so uh, since my documents folder is a lot more larger, it is going to take a little bit longer. But through the magic of video editing, I won't make you guys wait through that. So I'll just go ahead and pause it real quick. 
Okay, and we're just about done. A couple more files. Uh, I guess I had a lot of documents. <laughs> and 99% and done. Okay. So now, you've noticed the documents folder went bye-bye. And now all my icons in there. And if you know, remember that Win 10 document, that Camtasia Studio, which I'm using to record this video, is still there. And all my other documents lived and breathed. And so now I'm just gonna do the same with the rest of these folders, just to kind of finish the uh, roaming profile for like all my locations. So what I'm gonna do, basically, I'm gonna do, I do links, I do music, uh, videos, and um, favorites, internet favorites. So I'm just gonna do the rest of these all real quick. Okay, so now if you look at it, now you notice I have uh, pretty much all my, uh, my profile is uh, in my OneDrive for Business folder now. My desktop, my documents, uh, videos, photos, everything I have living and breathing inside OneDrive for Business. Now, as you can see right now, all my files are syncing. Uh, I currently have 310 syncing. Um, there are a couple of uh, rules that you have to follow for OneDrive for Business. As you can see, I have a couple of errors. It says um, you can't copy these files over because it's over 200. Uh, the range from 250 megabytes to 2 gigabytes. Uh, these are quite large photos, so they're over 2 gigabytes. So those are not going to sync because they're over 2 gigabytes, um, which, which is fine. So now let's go over to the second computer and I'll show you guys what needs to be done to then pull back or to pull down your information you have from the cloud. Okay, here I am in my laptop now. It was originally in my desktop and as you can see, I don't have anything on my desktop, but I do have OneDrive for Business installed. And uh, look, as you can see, it's syncing down all the um, I, all the stuff that I've already pushed up to OneDrive for Business. So you can see here's all my icons from my desktop. Um, there's a couple of things that haven't got finished. Looks like it's a video game that haven't got synced over yet. Um, so that's currently syncing down but look like all my documents are there my music my pictures um, I have a Mac folder because I'm syncing information from my Mac uh, so now to get everything to uh, pretty much make it a Roman profile I just have to do the exact same step that I did on my main computer onto here is change the location so my main location here is uh, my local profile so I want to change this to be the desktop of OneDrive for business and hit OK and yes and as you can see now, automatically all my files that I originally had on my desktop now are on my laptop. I'm gonna do the same thing with documents too. Change the location here over to my OneDrive for Business documents. And by doing that, all my documents that I currently had on my desktop are now automatically syncing with my laptop. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with the rest of the folders here. Okay, super easy. That's probably, it's really, really easy. I, I, people are surprised exactly how easy it is to kind of do this. So um, the only thing that does not copy over, it doesn't sync, it doesn't see shortcut links. So my little net support manager icon there from my remote software, um, that won't copy over because it's a link or a shortcut and shortcuts, well, shortcuts do for uh, file documents go over, but like program links, uh, which that is, will not get copied over. Okay, fast forwarding about a week. Um, as you can see, I had a different shirt, I got a haircut, I got new glasses, but I've been playing around for this for about a week just to kind of see how um, for uh, my needs and um, it works really well. Um, I'm using OneDrive for business, so uh, it has some limitations, like I can't uh, sync a certain file over two gigs, so like, you know, if I'm a video editor, I'm a content creator, if I'm making a lot of videos and a lot of movies or uh, just like stuff for YouTube, a lot of them's over two gigs, depending if you have good quality. Um, so that won't sync. Um, but that's just OneDrive for business. Uh, I Dropbox and Google Drive, I don't believe do the same thing. They don't have that limitation, so you can sync up pretty much everything. Um, but in the long run, everything works great. Um, so I, this accomplishes three things. Um, number one, a seamless backup of my desktop and my documents. 
um, up to the cloud. And so um, it also syncs with any other device that I actually have set up the same way as I showed in the video um, in the uh, tutorial just previously. And um, it works great. Um, I am on my desktop here. I log into my laptop, all my files sync. I make a new document on my desktop or laptop. It syncs vice versa. Everything's great. I don't have to worry about plugging in a hard drive, syncing them back and forth, copying to a folder. It's seamless and it works, which is good. Uh, so that's the first thing you get. The second thing that you get is uh, kind of like what I repeated. You get instant sync between all your devices. So anything you install this on, your documents are going there automatically. And then the uh, third thing that you're getting is, this isn't exactly new, but it's definitely a benefit, is that you get access to your documents or folders across pretty much anything with internet connection. I mean, um, there's uh, mobile devices that have um, apps like Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive for Business, they all have um, apps for the iPhone, Android, Microsoft Store, etc. that will gain you access to your documents. And uh, now Office is becoming a lot more um, popular now as far as like certain apps that can run pretty much anywhere. Same thing with Google Docs. So you can pretty much open your, you can work from your phone essentially, or just read the documents from your phone and not have to worry about um, having a, a desktop or a laptop or a PC at all times. Um, so there you have it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave down below and I'll be more than happy to kind of help you out with the process. Uh, this is the way I do it. Disclaimer, the results that I have may vary for you depending on what you're backing up and what folders you're backing up. But if you just kind of stick with these six folders that essentially just stores documents and data and doesn't have any uh, primary like system INI files or anything like that, you should be okay. All right, and then again, James signing off. See you guys in the next one.